Hi guys and welcome to a new uh, doll review video. Today I have with me a Paul Jointy doll. It was not really as a plan for today but she arrived today and things got a little bit scary so I'm going to talk about that in a moment. But first I would love you to subscribe to my channel so that I can reach the limit of YouTube and stay a partner. So please subscribe uh, because my channel is awesome and you love it. And a lot of cool things is coming up more and more and more every day. So please help me and subscribe. And also because Ella is asking you um, who can resist that cute face. Anyway, so now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to tell you the little story of this doll. Her name is Ella. And Doll Chateau had an event, it was called the Midsummer event, where they had four uh, aunts. So she's an aunt. You can see she has the aunt ass and she has like those four legs and two arms, like a cute little hand. And basically, I really love those hands. And they all have like the sign. So there was like hard and clover and spade and diamond. And so... I was wondering which one I was gonna get and um, since it was an event uh, depending on how much money you spent you could have like extra parts and st stuff like that so what I did was I ordered this one which is Ella uh, I liked her because she has a little tease you're going to see that when I zoom on her later she has a little tease coming out of her mouth she's absolutely adorable and I'm just very very happy with her and so I got her and I also got an extra head so I can change the head on the body and have like an all brand new aunt. The other aunt that I got is Amy so she's the one with the silly smile and you're going to see that because I'm going to of course show everything to you. So she arrived today and I had a bit of a scare because well the box uh, I'm gonna show you. So normally I would um, open the box in front of you and show everything to you but this is the condition the box arrived in. So basically we had, I had a cardboard box. Uh, you'll have the picture of the box opening because I still took picture but I had like the, there was a cardboard box just around the box nothing to protect the box in between. So just the cardboard box and then the doll box and then um, the box was compressed like in this direction obviously in this direction and when I saw the cardboard box with all the crease on it I was like that's that's not good and when I opened the box was in this condition so I, I was scared that the doll inside and the head like extra head that I have would be completely destroyed but um, hopefully the inside of that box is a bit better so then we it's a little bit hard to take off the cover because of the crease of the box so inside you had as a package with the head so this is little Amy's head in here so I verified already her head she has no problem whatsoever she's she's just cute and perfect so here is Hemi's head and she has a cute little smile. I got the face up from the company and I also got like the full full set for this one. Whoops! I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry! So I'm kind of... I, I'm not really prepared to deal with that body because she has like so many parts and it's very very skinny. So accidents are gonna happen, but hopefully I'm not, I'm not gonna break anything. So, um, so of course the, the head also come with um, antler and eyes. So they both have like super cute purple eyes. Uh, I'm gonna show that to you later. But the thing is, the eyes are super big, and the inside of the head is super small. So you can see what kind of problem is gonna arise. It was pretty hard to put like Ella's um, eyes inside. So I'm gonna show that to you from close up later. And so, uh, yeah, so in the box you also have the two certificate. So it, they are both exactly the same. So you have like the Dolce thing in the envelope. 
the hand rod got damaged as you can see when when it arrived and um, it has a card and it's like so you have the picture of the hands so the one that I have is here which is Ella and this is Emmy which has a crazy little smile so you have the name of all four of them and then it say uh, something so I'm gonna read it's about doll chateau gorgeous dolls old castle and new will receive an invitation from doll chateau creating more innovative and emotional DC doll and making customer move in every detail of design is the brand original intention of Doll Chateau. And then they give the email address of the sale. So they're like both cards are absolutely identical. So no special Ella card, no special Emmy card. So I have the two of those. And then um, my doll was inside this bag. And inside this bag he had this big bubble wrap. So she was bubble wrapped and then she had some more wrap all around her, like several pieces of that, uh, I don't know what material it is, polystyrene style of wrap. So she was really well protected. It was just like the big scare because the outside of the box was bad, but because also her body is kind of tiny, so doesn't take the all side so it was like that a little bit <laughs> and her body was just here until here so she was she was fine so I'm feeling like relief now because yeah she was like in a super bad condition to travel but she made it home safe so pretty nice so anyway guys so that's for the introduction and now what I'm going to do is zoom on her and show her through you from close-up as usual. So here is my full set little Ella and she is an aunt. So you can see she has a special aunt body. So she's my first ball jointed doll who is like not a human. Uh, so it's kind of funny. And that's my first doll chateau as well. So I never had like something like that before and She's super skinny, as you can see. She's super skinny and she's very, very thin. Like, the arms are so thin. Like, when I first got her, like, when I first touched her, I was, like, so scared that I was going to, like, break her just by, I don't know, touching her. It just looked like a match, you know? It's just, like, so tiny. So let's start with... Um, so she comes with this hood because she's, she's full set. So she comes with a hood. So it's like pointy and it has holes for her ears. She has some sort of pointy half ears. And it's closed underneath her shin with this clip button, which I'm gonna remove. So I'm gonna remove the hood so you can see her better. Then, so I got the wig from the company as well. So it's like a white wig and it's like seen straight here at the top and it's like kind of long, it goes kind of behind like her body, underneath her body, it's top, down there. And it's kind of cute, but I'm thinking maybe later like when I feel like it or if I want a change I'll probably get her like a different wig or maybe like a wig to go with her other head um, I'm not sure yet but I think it's kind of cute just I wonder like because of the antler uh, the hair doesn't fall properly so well so I don't know maybe it needs to like get the feel of her head or something but it's still not bad and with um with the hood it also looks bad, like with the hood it also looks good, but I wish it was a little bit, I don't know, thinner, because her head is so small and it makes it like, kind of look like she has a lot of hair. So I would like it to be like a little bit, yeah, a little bit more like that, actually it would be pretty nice. So maybe attach them at the back and pinch them somewhere, somehow, I don't know. So, um, she has, so let's talk about her ears. 
So she has pointy little ears with like cool design on the inside like she would really hear something which is pretty awesome and it, she has like some color at the tip of it and she has an, an antler that are attached with magnet on top so you can actually turn them in whatever direction you like so like she's really listening to you and then she's kind of like testing the thing on the side and maybe sad mm. something like that I don't know I don't I don't speak hands I know the hands actually speak with to each other with our handler so but yeah that's all so this one is the one with the teeth, uh, like that's the one I really wanted. I liked all of them, I wish I could have all of them, but this is the one that I, I preferred, basically with the teeth here. So that's why I got her body too. And like the face up is really, really gorgeous. So I, I really don't regret ordering the company face up because it's super, super cool. Like it's very, very thin. And you have all those little lashes with different color, so it's like an orangey sort of blush, and then the um, the lashes are like white and black and brown. It's really really awesome. And like I like all the teeth kind of stand out because it's so white compared to the rest. And she has like cute little eyebrows too, so I think she's a pretty cool little girl. And then, I don't know if you can see the color so much on the video, but she has purple eyes and I absolutely love purple. It's my favorite color, so it's kind of cool to have purple eyes though. And she has little blush and she has a cute little nose like, I don't know, a rabbit? It's, it's really, she's really adorable. I really love her. So then she has two arms. Oh yeah, before that, I need to tell you. So her head, of course, is articulated. So her head can move pretty nicely. So turn. Um, so her, her head is fully articulated. Then she has so two arms. So it has like articulation at the shoulder. So up and down, like pretty good articulation at the shoulder. Then she has a joint, it's a double joint at the elbow. So she can actually bend twice. And touch her face. Uh, let me... Okay, here. So she can actually touch her face. And I love dolls who can touch her face. My momonita can also touch her face. And I really love that on a doll. So, I'm kind of happy with the double joint at the elbow. And she can move her hands as well. So she has some wrist articulation as well. Just a little bit. Like because the crochet is here. Then she has... So she can bend at the middle, like under the torso. Because it's a, like it's a two-piece body. So she can move back and front, slouch a little bit. So it's pretty nice. It doesn't have the arc, like some dolls have an arc to actually stop the motion of the torso. But she doesn't have one. But she still moves like and slouch. Then she has four legs. That's a big thing about her. And so the legs are fully articulated too, so you can move them in all directions, so they turn. And they move also in this direction. Turn. So I think this is a like original, normal position, and then uh, you can have them like look longer a little bit, like that. If you unclench the joint, I don't know how to explain that. And then she has like the knees here, uh, but the knees actually don't actually move so much. I think this is like a normal knee position and they can turn, 
but she cannot really pull like her legs straight so much because of this part here. So she has those little spikes on her knee, so she cannot actually spread her leg and keep it spreaded. <coughs> so no straight leg for her here. And then she has another break here on the on the leg, another joint. But it's not really a joint, it's more like the like the end uh, but without the ball. So it doesn't actually move it just you can just turn it but you cannot bend it at all so that's how her leg works so not very much articulated around the leg like nice articulation near the body but the knee and the i don't know this part here it's not even the ankle i guess because the ankle would be here a little bit further so those are like just to make the leg turn kind of then she comes with her tail so she has this big bulge of a tail so the tail can turn as well and basically that's all it can do is there is no moving it up or down uh, too much like it doesn't stay if you move it you can move it like this but it actually doesn't stay in the position and it has this uh, line here but I can not open it I don't know how to open it so I don't know if it's a magnet or if it has been like glued or something I don't know so and that's where she has a spade and she has also like some reddish uh, point and yeah she also has like the black leg because she's one of the black one because she's a spade right so I guess basically that's it. She has a very very nice body blush. I love her face up. I love her body blush. Um, I kind of I love her overall. She's she's really cool. Like she's she's one of the coolest thing I got. Like she's very special because she's not human and I haven't seen that many ants around. Like I see spider, but ants is like kind of cute <laughs> i think she's super cute so and she can look up at you she, she's really awesome so uh what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to show you the head of emmy that i have here because that's a different head with a different mold so let's see i haven't put the eyes inside yet but i'm probably going to put her eyes on so that when I want to change the head, it's pretty easy to change. So let's have a closer zoom. So Amy is the little one with a crazy smile and you can see her teeth. Uh, but more like normal teeth, nothing going out of her mouth like Ella. So she has the same ears. So the only thing that actually changed on those dolls is the mouth. So she has this asymmetrical smile going up a little bit more on this side. I think she's really cool. So you can see here uh, the magnet for the antler or the antenna. Yeah, I think it's more antenna than antler actually. Antennas. And like our face up is also different. And the one on Ella. So the eyebrows are a different color and a different shape and she doesn't have like so many color for her eyelashes. She has like just black eyelashes and she is kind of more reddish on the top of her eyes than Ella is. So I'm gonna take picture of both of them together like the head and, and Ella of course. And I'm gonna put that all at the end of the video. So guys, that's it for today. So don't forget to leave me your comment in the comment section below. I want to know what you think and to give me a thumb up. And please subscribe because I really need your help at the moment with that. Anyway, I'm going to put the picture of the box opening uh, just after at the end of the video. And I'm going to put pictures of a little Ella here in the wild. I have the wild background behind me. So you're going to be able to see that. 
and I really love her. She's she's super cute. She's super adorable. So anyway, guys, uh, have fun whatever you do, and see you next time for something else. Bye.